hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the sign up api web security and admin account in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create the sign up page and we will call the sign up api to create a new user account so let's get started as you know, we already created a mat toolbar component where we have the links for register and login page. Let's go to the CSS file and add some styling to the navbar. You can uh, pause this video and copy this styling. I just pasted this styling to save some time so we can focus on the implementation of pages and APIs. Now let's uh, save this file and uh, you can see the result of the latest styling. Now let's go and write the HTML code for our signup component. In this uh, signup component, uh, let's create a div here with the class of container. In this uh, div, we need a mat card and in this mat card let's give it a title of sign up and after the title let's write the tag for mat card content and in this mat card content we can start our reactive form so let's create a form tag and let's name this form as sign up form and let's close this tag as well in this uh, form, let's start writing the code for our inputs. So first of all, to create an input, we need the tag for mat form field. And I am choosing appearance as outline. In this uh, form field, let's create a mat label and write the label as name because we want to get input for username. After this uh, label, let's write the tag for the input and I am writing form control name as name and the placeholder should be name. After this input tag, we need to show the error if our form field is empty. To do that, we can write the mat error and we can write ng if condition here and we will check if the name form control is invalid and it should be touched as well and in this case we will show an error and we'll say please enter a valid name now uh, let's copy this mat form field and let's paste here one time and let's change the name to email we need to update the form control name uh, to email and we need to update the placeholder as well and let's update the form control name here in the mat error tag Let's update the error message as well. After the email, uh, we need to input the user's password. So let's copy and paste it again. And let's update this label to password. And let's update the form control name to password as well. And the placeholder should be password. After this, uh, let's update the mat error tag. After this, we need to give the option to the user so he can hide his password or he can view his password by clicking one button. To do that, we can write here a type is equals to hide password. And if that is true, then the type should be password. Otherwise, it should be text. Now, let's write the code for the button that user can click to hide the password or view the password. For that, you can use the mat icon button and we will call a method toggle password visibility. We will write the implementation of this method shortly. Now, after the password, we need to duplicate this input and we need to update this password field to confirm password. Let's update the form control name to confirm password and let's update the error message as well. 
after the confirm password let's write the code for the button and on the click of button we will call a method in our ts file in which we will call our backend api to create a new user and we will uh, disable this button if our signup form is invalid our html code is completed now let's go to the ts file and here uh, let's create the object for our signup form after this we need a variable to store the value for hide password and by default we will set the value as true let's import this uh, form group after this uh, let's create a constructor here for this component and in this constructor let's inject the form builder after this form builder we need objects for mat snack bar to show the messages to the user and we need the object for auth service and router we will uh, create this auth service in some time after the constructor let's create the ng on init method and in this ng on init method let's mention controls for our signup form so we will use this dot signup form is equals to this dot form builder dot group and then here we can mention our form controls so first control is name and the by default value for this control should be null and after the by default value we need to give the validators and for the name we only need validators dot required now uh, let's uh, duplicate this line and update the name to email and for email we need another validator so we can write here validators dot email after the email let's create the form control for password after this password form control let's mention the confirm password our ng on init method is completed now let's write the implementation for this uh, toggle password visibility in this method we will update the value of uh, hide password property and we will just toggle the existing value for that we can write not and then this dot password after this uh, let's write the implementation for on submit in this on submit method let's create a variable with the name of password and let's uh, set this password value by getting the value from our password control let's uh, duplicate this update uh, the name to confirm password and update the control to confirm password after this let's write if condition here and check if our password is not equal to confirm password and if it is true then we will show the snack bar and we will show the message as password do not match and the duration for this snack bar should be 5000 milliseconds and then we will write the return statement here after this let's call our auth service dot register method and in the params let's pass the value for our signup form so we can write signup form dot value and then subscribe the response and in the case of a success let's name the variable as a response and let's write arrow function for the implementation and in the case of error let's name the response as error and in this arrow function we will write the implementation for the error if our response is successful then we will open a snack bar and we will show a message that sign up is successful and we will 
navigate the users to our login page and in case of any error we will open a snack bar and we will show sign up failed and please try again after this uh, let's right click on the app folder and let's create uh, a new folder and let's name this folder as services and in this uh, services folder let's create another folder with the name of auth and let's open this auth folder in a new terminal and let's write the command to create a new service so we can write ng g for generate as for service and let's name this service as auth now let's open this auth service and let's create a variable of basic url and that should be localhost 8080 which is the address of our backend application and in this auth service let's create a method a register and this method will accept the sign up request and the type we can give as any and uh, this method will return an observable with the type of any let's import this observable from rxjx after this uh, let's inject the http client in our constructor and let's import this from angular slash commons slash http and in the body of this register method let's write return and let's use this dot http dot post method to make a post call and in the params we should uh, give the basic url and the url for this particular api which is sign dash up and after the url let's pass the sign up request in the body our register api in auth service is completed let's save this and let's go to the sign up dot component dot ts and let's import this auth service here and as you can see all the errors are gone now let's save the ts file and let's save the html file as well after this uh, let's open our app.module.ts and let's import uh, the forms module and reactive forms module after the forms module and reactive forms module we need an other module and that is http client module which helps us to call the backend apis let's import this after this uh, let's paste the css code and you can copy this code this is just a basic css and i pasted this to save some time after this uh, let's open our tsconfig.json and let's update this strict to false and let's save the file now let's create a new terminal and write the command to run our application And as you can see, our application is up on 4200 without any errors. Let's go to the browser now. Now in the browser, let's click on this register button and you can see the sign up form here. Let's write the data for a test user. after entering the data let's click on this uh, sign up button this should give an error of password and confirm password is not equal and as you can see it is giving an error that password is not matching so let's write a matching confirm password and let's click on this sign up button and as you can see we got a message that uh, sign up successful now let's go to the mysql workbench and let's check our users table and as you can see here we got a new user with the name of test and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the login api and we will set up the storage service as well